In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set the timer mode on the Prop Jammer. This feature has two basic uses. The first is a trigger lockout so that once the Prop Jammer is triggered, it can't be triggered again until the timer delay has timed out. This comes in handy to prevent multiple triggers from occurring, for instance, when you're using the Prop Jammer with a motion or PIR sensor and there's a lot of activity around the sensor. The timer mode can also be used to automatically trigger the prop jammer at regular timed intervals. This is a handy feature if you're using the prop jammer in a standalone exhibit or display where you need to play a trigger audio and trigger sequence automatically on a repeating basis. The timer delay can be set anywhere from 1 second up to a little over 18 hours in 1 second increments, so it's really quite flexible. To initiate the timer mode, while the prop jammer is in idle mode as indicated by the heartbeat, you simply press the timer button. You will see the mode LED flash rapidly indicating that the prop jammer is waiting for you to tell it how long a delay you wish to use. The timer delay always starts from zero. While the prop jammer is in timer mode, pressing the one button will add one second, the two button adds ten seconds, the three button adds one minute, and the 4 button adds 10 minutes. By pressing these buttons you can add up the total amount of timer delay you want to use. Every time you press a button that amount of time is added to the total timer delay. So for example if I want to set a delay of 30 minutes I would press the 10 minute button three times. Once you added the total amount of timer delay you want to use you press the record button to commit that time and the prop jammer will save that total delay time to memory. So now if I press the trigger button the unit will trigger but I won't be able to trigger the unit again until the 30 minutes has timed out. So you can see that the trigger is locked out and it will be locked out for 30 minutes. So let's try that again. Let's say I want to set a timer delay of 3 minutes and 45 seconds. In idle mode, I press the timer button to initiate timer mode. This always resets the timer delay to 0 seconds. So to add up 3 minutes and 45 seconds, I'll press the 1 minute button 3 times to add 3 minutes, and then the 10 second button 4 times to add 40 seconds and then the one second button five times to add five more seconds to the total. I hit the record button to commit to that time and the prop jammer will save that to memory. So now I can trigger the unit and once the trigger sequence ends I won't be able to trigger the prop jammer again until three minutes and 45 seconds have elapsed. To get rid of the timer delay, we essentially program a delay of zero seconds. So let's try that. In idle mode, I press the timer button to initiate timer mode. And since we always start from zero seconds, I just won't press any other time buttons at all and press the record button again to commit to a zero second delay. Easy enough, no more delay. So let's take a look at how the timer delay can be used to make the prop jammer automatically trigger itself repeatedly with a set delay between triggers. Let's say we want the prop jammer to trigger every 10 seconds. This could be minutes or hours if you want. So for 10 seconds, let's press the timer button to initiate timer mode and press the 10 second button once to add 10 seconds and hit the record button to commit the 10 seconds total. If we press and hold the trigger button down continuously, we'll see that the unit will trigger every 10 seconds. So instead of holding down the trigger button, I added a push button switch here. But of course you could just use a simple wire jumper to connect the trigger screw terminals. The prop jammer will continue to automatically trigger all by itself every 10 seconds, or as long a delay as you want, up to about 18 hours. So you can see the unit will keep triggering all by itself every 10 seconds. Now you can remove the power from the prop jammer 
and when you power it back up it will automatically trigger itself with the delay that was programmed last. So now it'll wait another 10 seconds and automatically trigger itself again. To stop this from automatically re-triggering, just remove the trigger jumper or open the switch. And if you want to erase the delay, just press the timer button and then press the record button to program zero seconds as your delay. Thanks for watching.